Here I want to talk about our full PCB reliability workflow. We start with Sherlock where we import the ECAD file. That's going to give us the trace layout and component information. We can then export that geometry over to SpaceClaim where we'll integrate it with the MCAD files that contain the chassis, heat sinks, fans, and so on. Usually there's a bit of geometry simplification at this stage before moving on to the simulation. But once that's ready, we go over to Electronics Desktop where we have tools like IcePack and HFSS 3D Layout. In 3D Layout, we apply current and voltage settings to compute the heat dissipated inside the copper traces and vias. That heat load is fed into IcePack as part of a CFD thermal solution that can include other sources of heat dissipation, fans, heat sinks, and the effect of the environmental conditions. Since the DCIR losses are temperature dependent, we can loop back and forth between ice pack and 3D layout until we get converged temperature fields and power maps. At this point, we can send the PCB temperatures to Sherlock to perform solder joint reliability analysis. If there are any areas of concern, we can modify the PCB or enhance heat dissipation to improve solder joint reliability. Once we're happy with the results, we can send the final temperature field to mechanical, where it will induce thermal stresses. On top of that, we can add shock and vibe boundary conditions to obtain strains and displacements. Finally, those strains and displacements can be sent back to Sherlock to compute overall physics-based PCB lifetime reliability.